Here is part 1 of lift search at Megabanga. This is only in the main part of the shopping center. Notice in this map, north is this way on the left. And this is very important because this is how I'm going to name the lift here, is by a compass. So starting off from the north lift. This lift mainly takes you up from the ground floor, which is a car park, up to the first floor, which is the main floor of the shopping center. A is a Shinder lift. The Shinder lift. Sadly, my teacher spoiled some part of it, so let's speed it up a bit. Now to the next lift, which is the northeastern lift. This lift is a glass lift, and the fixtures in this lift are different from the last lift, but it's the same model, Schindler 5400 AP. Same, also D series. Let's go down. That's D series. Can someone press that? Before we go any further, let's talk about the types of lift in this shopping center. So we have glass lifts and also the standard lifts. The glass lift has D2 braille fixtures, whilst the standard has only D2. The D2 braille buttons are very clicky. Whilst the original D2 is quite strong, I don't know. Anyway, back to the lift. And next to the eastern lift, this is the, actually the tallest lift in a standard type. Because all the other standard types only go two floors, but this goes three. This is the east side. As you can see in the shopping center, there is no south or southeast lift because that's where IKEA is and they kindly allow you to use their lifts which means the lifts in IKEA, the main lift in front of IKEA has three purposes, the southeast, south and also lifts for IKEA themselves and also notice that the shaft is glass but the lift itself is not glass Yeah, so we're gonna take the left lift before picking up the products and itself, the shaft is glass. Yellow shopping bags are available around the store. For immediate pick up of smaller items, both in the showroom. There's actually more lifts in IKEA. You can check a video by TRG up here on the top right hand corner and the card. Back from there and into the northwestern lift, which seems like a normal glass lift as you can see before on the northeastern lift and doesn't seem to be anything special. Or does it? On the ground floor, the up button is actually a down button, but they just rotated it. Which means the braille is upside down and you can't read the braille. So anyway, moving on to the next lift is the southwestern lift. Nothing really impressive really, it's just the same as the other glass lifts here. Although apart from that decoration around the outside, it looks quite weird for me. I personally don't like these, but I think it's for style and the people who don't like quality glass. <laughs> Anyway, back to the map and into Robinson's. And yes, you can see that there is no western lift here. That's because where Robinson is. And Robinson has a Mitsubishi LNSA lift. Also notice the ground floor is called P, parking. It's parking. 
So that's all that lived here in part 1. If you want to see part 2, make sure to subscribe to see that for the first person. Part 2 will contain the lift in the food yard, the food wall, whatever its name, the extension from Highwayland to the south, and also some lifts that I missed in this video. Stay tuned. Thanks for watching. Consider subscribing to my channel. This is a district line train to South End on Sea. Thank you.